Welcome back. It's time for another Disney Film Project review. Hi, I'm Jocelyn, and this is the Disney Film Project, a weekly project series where I watch and review every Disney theatrical release in chronological order, with exceptions and with noted additions. And even if it doesn't apply to this movie, I always include a spoiler warning, as I do often like to talk about endings, and you can't discuss an ending without spoiling the movie. Let's get started. Today's film is So Dear to My Heart, which was released on January 19, 1949. When Jeremiah Kincaid saves a baby black lamb on his granny's farm, he names him Danny, after the famous racehorse Dan Patch. Wanting Danny to be great like his namesake, Jeremiah begins to train Danny, with Cousin Tildy and Uncle Hiram helping him out. But Danny isn't always well behaved and gets into plenty of trouble with Granny and several townspeople on his way to becoming a champion. It includes a horseshoe nail ring, a bee tree, and a Scottish spider. How would I review So Dear to My Heart? I would say that this movie is fine. It's this wholesome-ish movie and reminds me of Where the Red Fern Grows and Charlotte's Web. Both of those, of course, coming out years later. So one thing that I like is that the whole story is being told partly through the voiceovers of Bobby Driscoll's character, Jeremiah Kincaid, the older ver the adult version, as well as through his scrapbook that is shown that connects both the past when the story is taking place and the present when the voiceovers are occurring. Something else that I really like is the ending. And that's where and that's the reason why we have a spoiler warning at the beginning. Also <gasps> Also, Burl Ives is in this movie, and that alone is a win. What I really liked about this ending was that Jeremiah and Danny didn't, not only did they not win first place, but they also didn't get this brand new award. Instead, they're given this special award, one that had not been given out in four years. And for me, I thought that was a more satisfying win, because it meant that it was actually a genuine thing and not just for plot's sake. As I said in the beginning, I think that this is a fine movie, which means it is going in the fine jar. Oh, that was satisfying. Now, is this a movie that I would recommend others to watch? Yes, I would. Especially for those who are fans of Disneyland history, in which this movie is actually tied to Dis the history of Disneyland. And I think that's pretty cool. Is this a movie that I would choose to watch on my own? While I do enjoy the movie, and I do like the cast and the history of it, this is my first time watching since the last time I worked on this movie for my project, and I didn't really miss it in between. So unless I get the urge to watch this again specifically, it's probably not going to be my top pick. Okay, if you enjoyed my review, then like and follow for more Disney film reviews. And you can find this full review and more on my website. The link is in the bio. I'll see you next Monday with the next Disney Film Project review.